What's up guys? Welcome to Switzerland and we are headed to Latabrunen today. We'll be there for two days and then we're gonna head to... The National Park. Yes, the National Park. We're heading to Grindelwald. Yesterday we went out and this morning we didn't get much for images. Uh, walking around this lake, uh, what was it called? Etienne de la Gruyère. Yes. <laughs> we went around this beautiful lake. It was frozen, got some nice winter scenes and then uh, went to this little river on the French speaking part of Switzerland. Didn't get much there, but just an absolutely beautiful area with mossy trees. Uh, this morning we were here at this lookout. You guys just saw a time lapse from the, usually there's a, a view of the Alps, but we couldn't see you know, fog and clouds. Mm -hmm. But uh, now we are on our way to Latabrunen. We are first going for second breakfast and then we're on our way, so let's go. What's up everybody? We are finally here in Latabrunen and we got here last night or yesterday afternoon and we were right in the middle of a snowstorm so we didn't really get anything. Just checked into our hotel, had some dinner. This video will kind of give some tips on shooting in winter because it is really cold here. Uh, we, like I said, we were in a snowstorm yesterday so something we can give, maybe teach you guys is a little bit of uh, winter photography. So yeah, we're going to explore the town a little bit today. Maybe drive around, walk, walk around and um, See if we can find something to shoot and we'll take you guys along with us. Hi guys, hello here from uh, Grindelwald. We are uh, on our way to the town and um, Mike is just taking some shots there behind me. We'll go over there to, just in a second to see what he's doing. And um, in the meantime, I wanted to tell you something about um, tips for cold weather photography. So tip number one is um, to keep your batteries close to your body. So I have mine just in here in that um, little pocket here. Keep it warm because it will lose um, its power really fast. So I just stick that in there and it's good and be running perfectly. Off to tip number two. So um, as you can see, I'm wearing gloves here. Um, this is just the inlay. I have um, another pair of gloves right here. And they're a little bit thicker. Um, as you can see, they're like woolen. All of them, so both the inlay and the outer um, shell, they do have little patches so that I can still do something on my phone um, if I want to see where I'm going or uh, just doing like a little quick video, everything. Tip number three for cold weather photography is to keep your camera, after you're done shooting, in your bag. And actually don't take it out for a few hours, because if it's really cold outside and you go inside and it's really warm, um, it will fog up and condensate will build inside your lens and in your camera, which you don't want. So you just leave it in your bag, you don't take it out for a few hours. If you want to um, go and jump into editing right away, you just take out your uh, memory card. So that's what I usually do. I just take it out um, outside while I'm still shooting, take with me inside and leave the camera just in the bag for a few hours. So now let's go over and see what Mike's doing. There he is. Hello, guten Tag. <laughs> so Mike, what are you doing here? So I'm shooting down this valley here and what I'm doing is I'm making sure my histogram, I'm letting as much light in as possible. So my histogram is all over towards the right, all the tones, all everything is all towards the right. So just short of clipping or, or uh, overexposing the highlights. So what I'll do is I'll take a shot. Right now I'm at 1 250th of a second, uh, F8 at ISO 64, I'll take a shot, then when I review it, I can also check my histogram for the RGBs, the red, green, and blues. I'll make sure that nothing is clipped, nothing is overexposed, and like I said, just letting in as much light as possible. And um, trying to stay warm is probably the most important one, because it is cold. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, there you have it. This was uh, tip number four to check your histogram and expose to the right.
and just realized we didn't film the outro to this video so um, this is it and we have one more video coming up uh, from Switzerland here for this trip. I'm actually leaving tomorrow, head back to Arizona, but I'll be back out here in Switzerland with Chris in two weeks. So stay tuned for more content from us, you guys. And like always, thank you. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.